More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. I do not engage in farewells. Most make too much of beginnings and endings. When each is one step on a journey that turns endings into beginnings. But we were all children once. Seeing the world through our parents' eyes. Walking the paths set before us. I have the memories of me from the past. Tempered by the thousand versions of myself that bridge into the present. I was once called Lenarian. The first amongst those born to sanctuary. The hopes of refugees from the eternal conflict made flesh. In my youth, I was haunted by dreams of a world without balance, shrouded in chaos. A descent into utter evil meant terrible destruction. A turn to the complete absence of evil meant stagnation and decay. I told my mother what I saw, perhaps hoping she would see what I did. I sometimes wonder if my vision drove Lilith to respond with such madness and savagery. She sought to protect her children, but the violence she wrought could not discriminate between those she wished to save and the threat she chose to eradicate. I lost my closest friend and confidant to her actions. And more than that again, the consequences of choice ripple through time. As for my father, I believe Denarius came to think of us as a disgrace, that we should have never existed, only agreeing to consider alternatives to our elimination due to the protests of others. I think he would have followed through with his original plans, had my mother not murdered the other refugees. He exiled Lilith to the void for her actions, but could not bring himself to harm us. So he took the World Stone, hidden on Sanctuary from the High Heavens and the Burning Hells, and altered its resonance, so our powerful birthright diminished over time. Inarius disappeared, and our gifts or curse were forgotten. But for one who is eternal, my father should have known that nothing remains static. I tried to dwell in the present, the call of the balance fading to whisper, and find equilibrium in other pursuits. I found peace in the cycle, in the simplicity of the world around me, in love, in life, but that peace was shattered, the cycle abused. Seeking a new path, I came to know the great dragon Tragul, fulcrum of the balance, born of creation, defined by the very existence of sanctuary. He is more its guardian than any other can claim. No longer defined by my parents, I mastered the art of necromancy while committing myself to Tragul's teachings. Eventually, he gave me a new name, one better suited for the path I chose for myself. Rathma, meaning Keeper of the Balance. My function and my duty alongside Tragul's for centuries to follow. Disquiet grew as I sensed the return of my mother and father. It seemed the burning hells had been aware of sanctuary for centuries, allowing it to survive in service of using humanity as a turning point in their never-ending war. The Temple of the Triune had been created by the Prime Evils in order to sow instability and bring humanity into the fold. Inarius responded by founding the Cathedral of Light, which started a proxy battle that culminated in the Sin War. As the prime evils destabilized Sanctuary, 
Lilith secretly reawakened humankind's latent power as a means to undermine the Triune and Cathedral of Light. Inarius discovered her plan, foiled her efforts, and banished her to the Void once again. He was too late. Humanity's power had begun to spread thanks to two brothers. Eldician Udiomed, elder son of Diomedes, wanted nothing more than the simple, worthy life of a farmer, and instead became a catalyst for upheaval. Mendel, his younger brother, found an affinity for the balance and a desire for understanding. He became my student, learning about the balance as the Sin War raged on. The brothers' efforts against both the Triune and the Cathedral of Light gained them followers of their own. Eldician shared the power of our birthright, and they became known as the Adirum. This act alerted the High Heavens to Sanctuary's existence, and set the stage for a frightful clash between angels and demons, with Sanctuary as the field of combat. Tragul kept the armies of the High Heavens at bay as long as he could, while I went to my father to plead for aid. Enraged and unhelpful, he banished me to the Void with my mother, where I would have remained trapped were it not for Mendel, who brought me back to Sanctuary. The battle was deadly and fraught, and would have been deadlier still had Odysseum not brought about its end in an astonishing display of power. Reaching heights greater than I have ever seen, he willed both armies back from whence they came. In doing so, Eldician realized that his power was as great a threat to Sanctuary as the heavens and hells. So it was he sacrificed himself in an eruption of raw energy that saw a return to the mundane for his followers. His choice was profound enough to affect those who came to stand in judgment of us. The Angiris Council, leaders of the High Heavens, held a vote on whether to eradicate Lilith and Inarius' sanctuary, or to allow us to remain. Imperius voted for eradication. Ariel and Ethereal to allow our potential to develop. Maltheo abstained. We despaired an even vote would have meant our doom. Ethereal, the Archangel of Justice, who had come to Sanctuary of his own accord to witness Inarius' crimes for himself, was so moved by Odysseus' choice, he voted to spare us. As the Council debated on how to prevent the Burning Hells from corrupting Sanctuary, they accepted a bargain from Mephisto himself. A truce, wherein both sides would withdraw from Sanctuary and allow it to grow, untouched. So long as humanity was no longer a threat, and Inarius punished for his crimes. To this end, humanity was left to its own devices, their powerful birthright once again diminished, and Inarius was dragged into the depths of the burning hells to suffer at the hands of Mephisto. Tragul protected Mendelm's memory, a bittersweet gift as those around him remembered nothing of Eldician's sacrifice. Mendeln shed his mortal name and accepted one from Tragul, Kalon, meaning teacher. But the truth of the balance must be passed on to future generations. Kalon would go on to pass our teachings to his own students, necromancers, who would become known as the priests of Rathma. It has been their duty and function to keep the balance as the millennia pass. My dreams have once again been haunted by shattered images. A vision of the end of Sanctuary that coalesced into prophecy. A prophecy I know Inarius is driven to interfere with, believing it about him 
a savior, piercing hatred's heart in hell. Our choices always betray us. I lock the gates to hell, knowing it is only a matter of time before he discovers what I've done and comes demanding the key. One way or another, we hurtle towards the prophecy's end. Or perhaps its beginning. For what is death but a transformation? I saw my corpse, and from my mouth crawled hatred. A father burned his children on a pyre, and a mother molded a new age from the ashes. I saw the weak made strong, a pack of lambs feasting on wolves. Tears of blood rained on a desert jewel, and the way to hell was torn asunder. Then came a spear of light, piercing hatred's heart. And he who was bound in chains was set free.